Dead Frontier 2. Is it making a comeback? Let's find out. How's it going everybody? My name is Armando and welcome back to the channel everybody. So guys, I know I haven't made a different tier video in quite some time. That's because of not lie, I've been trying to find something else to, you know, upload to this channel. But today, we're just going to talk quickly about different tier 2, alright? So yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. As you guys may know, different tier 2, well, it's pretty much a sequel to different tier 3 deal, okay? Okay. Except obviously has better graphics, better, you know, more stuff to it, I guess you can say. But uh, let me just wait for this helicopter to go through. Anyway, sorry about that. So as I, as I was saying, yeah, it, it has better graphics, you know, it's visually appealing. But it kind of fell short when it first came out, all right? As we all know, before the announcement and everything, we were all speculating that Amin Pwn was working on a new game or a sequel to Death Frontier 3D. You know, more graphically advanced, more weapons, more areas. But, you know, when it first came out, it was honestly pretty much hype. Is that another car outside? But yeah, when it first came out, it was just hype all around. I was hyped. Everybody was hyped. I even had the audacity to make a video called Why Death Frontier 3D would just flat out die. And look at the funny, you know, coincidence. 3D is still here and Death Frontier 2 is just, well, it's not where it's supposed to be. But there have been a lot of things going on with Death Frontier 2 weapons being added skills being added open world finally came out and even though i wish open world would, would have been like the big game changer for different tier 2 it just wasn't but like i said we're gonna get right into that in a bit but first things first like i said i've been looking at all this following all of that all right we saw this first picture of different tier 2 you know look at that it just looks amazing the way it was you know just thought of and you know just Right into the game it just looks incredible the, the zombie the, the infected just looks great for this game honestly and well I, why isn't it working why is most of this stuff just not being known just yet well in my humble opinion really when the free game first came out it just didn't have enough content all right sure we had the nice graphics sure we had like a better bigger world if you can call it that and sure there was a lot more dialogue and much more interaction when it came to you know the npcs but where it fell short, in my opinion, that makes any zombie game just, you know, fantastic is the open world and the, you know, the environment. And let's just say Death Frontier 2 just had one type of environment, pretty much just a city, you know, like a quick town. And then all there was was fog, night and rain. That was it. That was the whole game. And obviously you had the houses, which was a big game killer, which is you go in the house and that was the majority of the looting system. And then you go into a door and then it opens up more doors and even up more doors and overall it just didn't bring justice to the game and obviously the 25k hype that it had with the players in the beginning just died down to less than 300 players and it was quite sad it was quite sad i really wanted the frontier 2 to just you know hit it off and we had like this great new game but overall i didn't but like i said i feel like the frontier 2 is gonna make a comeback it's just that it we got it's taking this long to get here but like i said some things just need a bit of an extra time to be worked on and eventually it will catch on the hype hopefully and once it you know catches a little bit of hype it just starts blowing up that's how it is in this you know day and age and in terms of like youtube and gaming it just grabs a little bit of hype and then it just okay like i said i'll repeat again it'll, it'll just blow up all right he's been working on storylines be giving us something nice you know weekends events giving us some nice easters like i said this is all low but like the latest image was this just look at that just look at that it, it just looks great man the green eyes the artistic work the the freaking whatever those are pus pus bubbles whatever and then obviously the freaking knife for hands it just looks amazing it, honestly if the game was just structured differently from the beginning this honestly in my opinion would just be all around hype it really would all right uh what is this oh yeah and uh, obviously that as well but he's been just doing a lot of things you know uh, and here's an, one of the updates that i just want to read out loud real quick it says as i'm sure you've noticed i missed the intended lunch date for the level 50 update this is due to the easter events you know the new mutations take a lot more work than i thought credit estimated the coding time but failed to take into account how long it would how long it would take to manually place and adjust the mutations for all 27 enemy times damn 27 enemy times the Sony has taken a bit longer to implement, test, and plan, as well as there is quite a lot of filling required to get all 18k words. Wow. And getting things like the timing of subtitles to totally correct, etc. Here's where I am up to now. 40 new weapons. Nice. Including assault rifles. Complete. New boss A. Complete. So he's giving us four bosses, a new crafting system, 
a lot of bugs fixes, which yeah, we do need. Uh, new zombie variants, complete storyline final implementation, 95%. So we're finally getting a storyline. Unlike 3D, there wasn't really a story. You had to come up with it. So this is great. We're finally getting some background, some lore. Can't wait for them. New, new unique skills, items, and miscellaneous code, ETA two weeks. Okay, he's still working on that. Testing and balancing, ETA two weeks. So this was uploaded last uh, 18th of May, which I guess I don't care. I really don't. Just take your time, man. I just wish that he would have done this from the beginning, which is just take your time, all right? My humble opinion on why the Death Tier 2 just fell short in the beginning was because we just rushed him. Let's be honest, we all rushed him. We wanted him to complete, and I know the pressure of when you promise something at a specific time, you just have to go through it because then you look like the asshole, and that's I feel like that's how Amin felt. But if Amin really didn't care about you know that type of pressure, and he would have said, "No, I'm gonna release it when I feel it's ready, and when I release it, I really hope that you guys enjoyed." And I feel like it would have held on a little better, you know. But hey, it is what it is. And it's in the past. Now he's just trying to redeem himself, which I respect a lot. And sorry for you know just rambling on. I just want to keep this video short. I'm also a little interested. I haven't really listened to this. All right, so let's just all listen to it together, guys. So like I said, here's my reaction to it. Never listen to it. It's called Item 16, Mara Adler, the WAV. So yeah, let's listen to it. Good afternoon, Richard. What's the occasion? You know why I'm here, Mara. The investors were getting anxious. I had to give them something, and the N4 is coming along nicely, practically ready for trials, really. That's not how these things work. You know it, and I know it. So let's cut the crap. This isn't the first time you forced us to cut corners. And look at how many more lives we've saved because of that. How many people still have their family members because of our expedited production schedule? Huh? How many, Richard? I can't argue with your results, but... Besides, I have nothing but the utmost confidence in your team. You will crack this thing and... It's August, isn't it? What? I saw the results the last time I was up here. I'm sorry, Mara. I really am. But he's not going to make it if we don't get this thing right. You know that, don't you? All of this, the moral and medical consequences of your actions, you aren't thinking straight. Two months. What? You have two more months to get the virus ready for human trials. After that, we are proceeding regardless of your professional opinion. Mara! No, this is not a debate. I'll say this one time, and one time only. You will continue to serve as project head on the N4 project. You will heed my directions, and you will never question my authority again. If you do not... I will run your reputation into the ground and ensure that you never work in medicine again. Are we clear? I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I'll go break the news to your team for you. And Richard? Yes? If you ever mention his name again, I'll have your head. All right, so that was honestly pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. The voice acting was honestly superb. <laughs> Obviously, except the little part there. All I hear is, yes, like kind of excited. <laughs> Let me just hear chat again. <laughs> Thing. I'll go break the news to your team for you. And Richard? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, this is just a demo. It's just to kind of give you guys a bit of background on the lore, but... I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty excited. And I can see I'm just having a, you know, spontaneous amount of ideas just you know waiting to be released into the world all right but yeah the reason why the open world didn't work and the way he released it is because it's too small way too small like i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna call one of my favorite or his name is francisco i think you guys know him as mr pizza <laughs> yeah he's a young graphic uh, graphic designer he's a young game designer and his biggest advice you know for any game designer is do not make your game feel like a sandbox that is a big no no you don't want to have a big game and have nothing to do and that's honestly what happened to the frontier 2. the open world was a cool addition but it just felt the same if you guys get what i mean there wasn't really much added it's just all right i guess there's no more traveling like from this to black screen and another black screen and it's just now you guys can just walk here if you want which is not what we wanted yes it is an open world technically but the beauty about an open world is that there's a lot to see you know there's like just like 3d supermarkets police stations uh you know hotel rooms motel room, motel buildings it's just a lot more to see so i'm guessing that's why 3d's uh looting system was just a lot better in terms you know of content compared to different tier 2 the thing is this game it's easier to code for 
admin pwn it's just a lot easier 3d the reason why it won't get as many updates as you guys think is because the coding for it is just so messed up heard it from many resources that it's just like putting a band-aid on a big you know open wound the coding is just so messed up i just don't know what to do with it but it's definitely too it's a lot easier to code and you can do a lot more crazy stuff to it but uh yeah that's all i got for you guys sorry if i rambled on for a little too long what do you guys think is death frontier 2 gonna make a huge comeback in my opinion i'm thinking it's like a like a 50 50. it can go south again or it can go up but then again he's taking the gamble he's been doing a lot of it a lot of you know work on it and i just hope it does come to fruition all right for me i feel like death frontier 2 is the zombie multiplayer game we've all been looking for it's just a matter of time before hopefully Amin can execute it and just you know perform how we always hoped he would perform and i think it's finally coming but yeah that's enough of me rambling on guys i love you guys sorry for not uploading as much different tier content as i wanted to i just want to try a different pace you know because eventually uploading different tier for what 13 or what yeah like third no 10 years just gets a little stale after a while <laughs> so yeah guys love you guys i'm honestly out i'll see you guys next time take it easy